Hey Bill, okay, you can see I was playing around here. I was making a part the other night, but I wanted to show you just how simple the uh, tag tool post is. Uh, it's just, all you do is it's got a little Allen key, and all it is is a little, you know, aluminum block. I use the A to Z guys on the bottom because they're a little bit better than just the, the chintzy little nut that comes with the tag. But it's uh, anodized. It's just got a it's got an Allen bolt that go, runs all the way through. It's nothing fancy. It's just a I think it's like a 1032 or something. And then it has a little, as you can see here, it's got a little. Uh, it's not quarter inch because these are quarter inch bits, but it's got a little you know whatever three eighths uh, groove cut into it, milled into it, and then oops, and then. That's it. So it's got two, you know, two Allen head, very tiny Allen heads. And then here's an example of a cutting bit. I got this in a huge lot at a garage sale for like five bucks. I mean, oh my god. I'm just this guy who passed away. His wife sold a bunch of his stuff. And uh, he had all kinds of, of blanks that he had ground. And the guy really knew what he was doing. I mean, these are just fantastic bits. And then, uh, so anyways, you know, you just slide this into, now you may not have the T-slot on your cross slide, but um, I'm not sure, I'll, I'll look at your video here in a minute. But so, and then here's one of the little carbide indexable ones that I got off eBay for, you know, I, I think you get four or five for 20 bucks or something. Um, and uh, you just, Put it in with an Allen, you know, two set screws, a little Allen wrench. And then the nice thing is, you know, when you're cutting apart, and normally I wouldn't extend it this far, I've been working on plastic, but um, the nice thing is, you know, with this deal, you can adjust it any way you want, and you can do it very quickly too. That's the main thing is, you know, you grab your Allen wrench, you know, boom, you're set, and you want to, you know, you want to come in from another angle you know, boom, you're set again. Uh, I've got, as I showed you before, I've got the I've got the quick change tool post here, but you can see, you know, it's gigantic compared to the little tag one. And it's such a, I mean, it's very nicely built and, you know, the it's, it, I showed it to you in another video. It's, you know, super, super high quality, uh, cam operated, but at the you know when you really get right down to it, it just it's all it's constantly in the way uh, what a lot of people do is they take this screw in here and they make a little handle so uh, what you've got is you've got instead of an allen screw with an allen key I mean with a an allen wrench they just make one long you know, thread a screw and then bend it over and make a handle, which is apparently very popular in England when it comes to lays. And then what you do is you kind of always have this little handle and you just cinch it down and then you use the little handle and adjust it and cinch it down again. So, you know, maybe with your mill you can make something like this because I'm telling you, you this cannot be beat. Um, just having a post with a groove, you know, it cannot be beat for when you really get in and start making stuff this is the way to go. It may not look as cool as the as the quick change, but I'll tell you what, it, it's so fast and it's so easy and it takes up so little space on the lathe that it's very functional. So might be something to consider there. Okay, if you get any questions, let me know.